the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 153 of The Daily Mother Swole. We are in Atlanta. Uh, this is the old fourth ward, so I'm going to go over a couple things. A little recap. I've been eating, this is the first time that I've traveled, that I've been eating a lot on the road. So I haven't, I didn't prepare my meals. I didn't prepare everything in advance like I normally do. And that's a change from the way I used to be. I used to make everything in advance and bring a cooler. I went away for two days. I would cook and I would bring like a cooler of food on the road with me. I would bring it along. I would bring it on the plane. I would bring all my food with me. And I don't know. It just wasn't it just wasn't ingrained this time. I didn't care. And I think part of it is I wanted to try to see what it was like, just relax a little bit, relax a little bit in terms of my diet and my nutrition, you know, let the, let, the, let the chips fall where they may, and I think part of it is because right now I'm not on, it is nice, I usually don't, you know, if I have, like, you know, someone, yeah, just when I go out and buy a meal, and this is on Periscope, is that it's, some, it's nice to have someone cook you a meal, and it's true. And it's true. Just so everyone knows, you can catch this live on Periscope, on this road trip, live on Periscope, every day at 12 noon Eastern Time. Also, it's been recorded on YouTube, and the audio from this will be ripped and put on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher. So I probably will not do a separate audio track for SoundCloud. It's going to be this audio from the, the video recording that I'm doing. So you can find it on YouTube, you'll find it everywhere. It is nice to have someone cook you a meal. It's also nice to let loose a little bit. In all honesty, I don't think I was motivated to prepare my meals and to really bring a cooler and bring food with me because I am taking a little bit of a physical break because I'm not training super hard like I have been. And you know, I've been talking about this, I've been taking a week, a week and a half off so I haven't been putting the pressure on my body. Yeah. And I'm enjoying the mental step back too, to ease off a mental pressure. Yeah. I'm in Atlanta. And those of you who are watching on YouTube, this is also broadcast live on Periscope. So I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> so I'm talking to my dual broadcast setup here. And I have, oh, let me show you what I'm eating. I got some country fried steak eggs benedict with some potatoes and I have a small cinnamon roll. Did you get, did you get that thumb? Thumb got it. Let's do a little bit of a, let's do a little turn. There's Jebly. Oh yeah. So there's the meal, and there's a dog. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. It's cute. Just people walking by. It's a nice little spot. Yeah, this spot's awesome. So right, guess we're in the old fourth ward of Atlanta. Really nice area. The food's good. Getting back to what I was saying, because I'm taking a little bit of a you know, physical break, 
I am kind of letting the chips fall where they may in terms of food. You know, we go buy food and we're you know, snacking, we're treating ourselves a little bit, but it's important to also just relax and let the wind blow you where, where it will. I am leaving today. We're leaving right after this. We're going to be heading to Nashville. So I'll be hitting you guys up from the road. Nashville for a night, and then we're going to be in Cincinnati the next night. So tonight's going to be, we got here really late last night, and we checked out the area. It was really quiet. It's a Wednesday, and tomorrow, or tonight is going to be where we get into town a little bit earlier, and we can plan, have a meal, and do Nashville the way Nashville deserves to be done. Yeah, so we avoided the avoid the hurricane. We're out of harm's way, and my message for today for the Daily Swarm, for those that are watching, for those that are listening on SoundCloud, for those that are listening on iTunes and watching this later on YouTube, and all of you that are live right now on Periscope, when you take your break, understand that that's why meditation is so important. That's why self-reflection is so important. Don't just let it be physical. Allow the mental breaks too, whether it's the same time. You're not gonna fall out of it. Like for me, I know I'm never gonna fall out of fitness completely. But it's a nice mental, it's like a mental massage. It's a nice release of tension and stress from always having to prepare and always having to have everything ready. Yeah, you get better results and yeah, there's a reason why I have seen the change in the results that I, did, that I have because I've been consistent for the past 15 years. But at the same time, it's very relaxing and rewarding to step back and release a little bit, relinquish a little control, and it makes you appreciate it more when you get back into it. it Let your body reset, kind of like an edge sketch, and then you can refocus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my meal, go back to bro time, chill a little bit, but I wanted to leave you with that uh, important message, and that's something that you learn from experience. And a lot of what I try to bring in terms of value with Soul Normous is the experience aspect, things that someone can tell you. Is a lot different than you know, applying it and then seeing for yourself what you know how it actually affects you. There's a huge, huge, huge difference in reading things from a book and actually applying them. And not only applying them, but applying them over a long period of time and understanding how they affect you. So learning your body, all self-awareness, learn what makes you tick, learn how you are able to decompress and reset. And that'll help you keep moving forward. Hmm. That bite was so good. So thank you for joining me for episode 153 of the Daily Swole. I'll see everyone later, if not later, tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time for episode 154. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your Thursday. If you're in Florida, be safe. Don't worry, the Daily Swole will be on iTunes and SoundCloud and YouTube when you get power back. Peace <laughs> out. So,